Hello, thank you for joining me. I see some of y'all were waiting. Hello, Indy Andy, I'm glad you could finally make it. I know like my streams are at a terrible time for you. <laughs> Hello, Kirsty, Kirsty, Kirsty Perkins, Flying Falcon, yes. <laughs> Nala, are you joining us? As long as you don't bark, don't be barking at people. Let me share this over, whoa. Um, bunch of hellos, Jenny Little Treats, hello from Canada, very cool, hi, Roni Bunny, Angel Bobbit, Apocalyptic Cosmonaut, <laughs> hello everybody, um, I am in the other part of my, um, like, studio thingamajig, studio, <laughs> um, I decided I would just turn around, I have a desk behind me, Why not? might as well use it, um, this was like a last second thing, but it's probably better that y'all don't have to deal with um, the very messy background going on back there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share this over on my Facebook page real quick. <laughs> Wonderful uh, nose noises today. My apologies. I love you. I love you too. I know. I know. I might have to put her up. She uh, gets very unhappy when she's not the center of attention. My dog, Nala, if you're wondering who I'm talking about. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do that, huh? I didn't think we would. And then you did that. Oof. Hi. Um, don't shoot me. I just ordered two girls. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to try to do this and not mess it up this time. Um, Eli LT Bitrick. Hello, I finally caught a live stream. Well, welcome, welcome. Uh, Gianna B. Hi, hi. Hello. Roni Bunny, how are you? I'm doing better than I was. <laughs> how are you? And Somnix Marvel Legends, you rock, my friend. Well, you rock too. Thank you for being here. Also, um, yeah, I am so bad at multitasking. <laughs> I will find a way. There should be a thing that tells me where my link is and I'm not finding it because you know the levels of genius over here Nala honey can you just yeah you're making it <laughs> like there's so much so much thing so much things so much trash and stuff that really doesn't need to be in here and she's making sounds out of all of it <laughs> so that's super fun and awkward oh is this thing okay Hello, Gamer Christina. Colleen Ott from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Your videos have helped me in the past. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. And welcome. Philip Noah, hi, watching from work. Oh my goodness, so oh, don't get in trouble. <laughs> um, Angel Bobbitt, so my evaluation is tomorrow, preparing for that and route to Scottsdale. I'm joining in until the cell phone service goes out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, thanks for joining as much as you can and um, hope your email goes well. And then um, lots of hellos. Hello, Kaishana. And again, hello again to Indy Andy. Hanging out with us today. Yay. I'm excited. Nala, I love you, but like this isn't going to be real cute for long. You know that, ma'am? She's like, yes, well, I am cute at all times. Sweet girl. Can we not? Hmm? Do we have to bark all the time? <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. I didn't think she was going to do that. Today. I'm sorry, guys. I might have to, uh, might have to put her up here. Because that's, that's not going to, that's not going to go for very long. She was like chilling out, taking a nap, having the best time ever. And then she was like, hey, you're doing something. I want to be involved. She's not very happy with me. Took me like five years to find my live link. I love you. I love you so much, but the noise, ma'am. The noise is killing me. Everyone says hi to you. I promise. Yes, everything is about you. I promise. It's okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. I think I think we have set. New plays? Oof. I just spit, so Merry Christmas about that. Um, I, who has, I do have Instagram. I don't know if you're talking about me or someone else, though. Um, can you play us some piano sometime? 
I would, Amy, if I could actually play. It's mostly there for fun. Um, I got it from my dad and um, used to use it mostly for stimming purposes. <laughs> so I know like nothing, uh, but I enjoy using it to, to calm down sometimes. And we rearranged everything in this room and uh, I didn't want to like end up with it in a box somewhere where I couldn't get to it. Of course, now it's just like collecting dust as a thing over here on the side. So, yeah, knows. Neurotypical needy dog. <laughs> are you are you a neurotypical needy dog? Huh? That's funny. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Yeah. Of course, no one can see you right now. Probably better because you're like over by some trash, and that's probably not what we want to show the world. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, Gamer Christina, um, if you look, maybe, I, I think in this description box, I'm not sure. Usually in my description box, I have it linked. So if you want to check it out, you can. Hello, DVD and film blog. Welcome. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I meant to say the t-shirts are actually really nice shirts, at least. I don't get in trouble. But yeah, thanks for actually getting my name right. You've got 99% of people beat. But I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> That's fantastic. I see the setting has changed. I mean, kind of. Um, basically, like, normally, you guys are over there. And I'm turned around. If that makes sense. I feel like this part gives it away a little bit, but yeah, I figured it would be a better, a better deal for me because that way I can actually try to properly click on comments with a mouse and everything instead of trying to balance the laptop and try to like poke the screen and hope that I don't put inappropriate things up on the screen. My apologies for that in the past, by the way. Um, yeah. Anyways... Hello, Felicia Hill. Amy Bradford, it is an excellent stim and looks lovely as a thing collecting dust on the side. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know if, I don't know what, who saw what. Um, Max McCormick, my boyfriend showed me your channel when I started questioning if I was on the spectrum and it helps so much. Oh, that's exciting. I always like to hear about that stuff. Like, it makes me really happy that I can help people. Um, I just make me happy. And Nala is, is, um, bringing me toys to play with. <laughs> yes. Roni, I'm sure she says hi. I believe Nola thinks that anytime that there are people over or she's around people, that she is the reason they're there. Um, <laughs> pretty much anyone who comes over our house. And I really do think she thinks like we brought them over to play with her and there's no other reason for them to be here. It's fantastic. Um Sonic, hello. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh oh, Kirsty, that's concerning. I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, do do do. What's the dog's name? Her name is Nala, like 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 Lion King Nala. <laughs> um, we initially um okay, but so. When we first got Nala, we named her Solomon because we thought she was a boy because <laughs> that's what, like, the people who gave her to us. So, like, she was actually kind of a present for my husband. Um, of course, I was in on it. So, like, I knew, like, it, and he had wanted a dog for, like, a really long time. And they were like, oh, yeah, it's a boy. Like, is that going to be okay? And I was like, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then, like, the first visit to the vet, they didn't say, hey, this this little puppy here is, is, doesn't have boy parts. Um, but the second time, they were like, um, <laughs> this is a girl. So she got renamed to Nala by my husband. So, yeah. <laughs> My girl dog is Lola. Oh, that's cute. I have a cave going on with no moss and rocks. I mean, yet. I feel like there probably is a rock somewhere around here. Actually, I think I used it as an anchor up there. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about, like, all the sniffling. I'll try to, like. I say I'll try to not do that. I don't know how I'm not going to do that, but we'll just pretend. How about that? Can we not? Ah, ma'am. Come on now. 
Those are not for Nala. No, no ma'am. We can't be eating makeup brushes. That is not nice. That is not nice. No, thank you. Eat your toy. You have many toys. Where's your toy? There you go. Beef pants. <laughs> uh, hey, so I'm 99% sure I'm on the spectrum and I'm currently going to a psychologist to find out, but a part of me is kind of scared if I'm not actually on the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, um, understandable. It's, it's, it's nice from my point of view because, you know, like I'm, I have completed that problem, right? And it's like, yay, it's over. <laughs> like, I don't have to like worry about that part anymore. Um, but yeah, like it is kind of like scary, like, cause you feel like this is what it is. And then like, what if I'm wrong? But like, if you are wrong, then hopefully they'll guide you to what you are dealing with. And I think that in the end, that like, that would be the best outcome for you, whether you are or aren't, hopefully they will be a good professional and help you figure out what's going on. And if you indeed are, then they'll just hopefully confirm that. And if you're not, then maybe they can help you with something else. That's the best, bestest thing right now. Sorry, I get distracted by her really easily. <laughs> um, Emmanuel, hello, it's going okay. How's it going for you? Um, some conversation here. <laughs> uh, Philip Noah says, haha, and I thought my, I don't know how to say this, Osicat? was a pain when I when I doing things his meow was so high pitched and annoying. <laughs> Nala likes to um she picks the best times to 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 do things. Um she has legit stood here and barked in my face repeatedly while I've been on live before. I think I think it was a Patreon live stream and she just would not stop. I couldn't play a toy with her, couldn't tell her nothing. She was just like, "Hello." Pay attention to me right now. So, yeah. But at least usually she doesn't whine unless if she wants, like, um, she really likes the laser, like the laser pointer. Um, she was practically a cat in that way. <laughs> and she might be slightly addicted to it. So we try, we try not to give it to her too much because she, like, goes insane for it. But she knows, like, she has to eat her food and then we might play with do, 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 do. Dolphy. Hello, just joining in after watching Autumn Watch. That's a live nature program from the BBC. One of the presenters is on the spectrum, by the way. That's cool. And also welcome. Yay. Um, <laughs> everyone's like, what is happening? Angel, uh, Sunday, did you move things around in your area? It looks different. I didn't really move things around. Um, I moved myself around. <laughs> so like my, um, my lights, um, and camera setup is actually right there. Um, I'm just using the desk that's always behind me. The, the fun thing is, um, on where, T not tomorrow. Well, we're setting up tomorrow and then Saturday, I'm going to be taking pictures of people for uh, a harvest festival thingamajig at my church. So I should probably work on like breaking down some of my setup to be able to like have everything ready. Which is ironic because I was like, I bet you I could set up my streaming stuff over here and then like my other stuff that way. Which I think this works better because um, my face isn't just a shining moon. <laughs> I mean, it's not much better, but I feel like it helps it a lot. I did a um, a few things with people, including Andy Andy, and I had my setup like normal and everything, and my face was like a shiny moon, uh, and not in the greatest way. So I feel bad about that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, Kirsty Perkins says my dog Beauregard. Thinks he has to be petted all the time and presses his nose in my arm a lot. Oh, yeah. Nala likes to do that. She likes to, um, like hit me with her nose, especially when I'm trying to like do something that I actually need precision with my hand. Uh, she's just like, Hey, you're typing. That's cool. Pet me, uh, which is cute and all, except for when I'm trying to like do homework or something and then they're not so cute, but you know, I feel like. There is something. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask somebody real quick. 
But I bet you would probably be easier on here. I don't know what I'm doing with my life over here. Okay. Out of nowhere, but my current fixation, which has been on and off for a few years, is classic Doctor Who, the 1963 to 1989 series. Holy crap! How long is that show? Because, like, I know a ton of people who are, like, really into that, and I feel like I can't afford to get into it because I will be lost in it for, like, ever, because I know, like, how much people really, really like that series. Um, and I just... I can't afford to get really involved in another really long series considering like my absolute favorite anime is over 900 episodes long right now and I am like rewatching it so um I don't want to get lost in that too but like how long has that thing been running because the show that I like has been running since uh on air since 1996 the actual like story has been created um since 1994 I think, which is my birth year. So it was pretty much made for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that would be pretty cool if it was. Just saying. If it was, though, if it was made for me, then my favorite character would get together with the people that I wanted to get together with. Would you stop, please? Ma'am, this is not cute. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're making it messier. Stop. This is your toy. Here. This is your toy. No. I might have to put you up if you keep on being silly. Stop it. Here. Go take a nap. We'll be happy. She's like, no. Give me attention. Um, it's about 50 years old. My goodness. It started in 63 or 64. My goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> um... Kirsty Perkins says, I feel the same way about One Piece. I honestly don't feel like watching it because it's a total of 500 episodes. So did it actually end or is it still like going? Because I don't know. The last time I remember it was still going. So. <laughs> um, but then again, that was a long time ago. I used to be like really, really like up to date with like anime and stuff. For a while I had, I was probably up to date on most of the anime that were coming out. Um, and then I just stopped. And so, like, I feel I, I still have that feeling of like, oh, yeah, I'm super in tune to what's happening. I'm not. That was that was like 2010. <laughs> like, it was 10 years ago. I don't know anything anymore. Oh, it's bad. Huh? No, it does not fly in Falcon. <laughs> oh. Angel Bobbitt says, this is a bit off subject, but a new Saved by the Bell is coming out cool another thing i i don't have the same love for that everybody else made. are you kidding ma'am hello ma'am you're funny you're a funny girl you're funny and by funny i mean being very rude you're really getting to literally everything okay oops he's okay so what we're going to do <laughs> Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I think I'm going to um, go put her up real quick because she's like literally getting into everything to the point that um, it's not good. So can I make myself disappear? Probably. I just don't want to like leave you guys hanging. But then again, yeah, hold on just a second. I'm going to see what I can do on the sun real quick. Um, put her up and I'll be right back because <laughs> this is getting a little bit crazy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
Yay! Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gina, 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 B. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, I know someone has said something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I've been here. The way you enunciated, I'm gonna say it wrong. <laughs> Almost rhymed in my, and so my ears suddenly perked up. You have like this natural ability to rhyme things and it's beautiful. Um, hello, cereal bowl. Thank you, <laughs> Guy Shana. Um, Shy Guy says, at times it feels like my brain is not getting any oxygen and I have to step away from everything. I'm starting to think maybe it's sensory overload. Do you think that may be the case? Um, I would say it's definitely a possibility. Um, if it's causing like, I don't know, I, that's something just because of, like, how, <laughs> so when things start to become, like, more, maybe, potentially medical, whenever you go to your doctor next, that would probably be a good idea. I would say it's likely, but I also don't want to, like, tell you that, and then something else be going on, and <laughs> you'd be like, oh, no, it's not a thing, and then it's, like, a medical thing or something, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <clears throat> DVD and film bloke says if only I could rhyme stuff. <laughs> Same. I <laughs> I know someone who like really enjoys rhyming but like isn't good at it. And the best at something so you kind of like keep it to yourself. I don't have the confidence to just be like, yes, I'm going to do this in front of people in real time. Um, so it's kind of amusing to be completely honest, but at least they're brave enough to try to do it. Um, <laughs> sometimes I feel like your dog and just want attention. Welcome, welcome to, um, I guess, I don't know, life in general for most people. It's okay. <laughs> we all just want attention sometimes. Um, what? <laughs> DVD and film bloke says, I mean, I can't write music and I'm afraid it would end up as an inferior version of my lovely horse from Father Ted. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at any of that. So, you know, I took a, um, a course in music theory and I got confused about the rules and I had to like make a thing and it sounded horrible, and I knew it sounded horrible, but I thought, like, I was following the rules, and I was supposed to follow the rules, and my teacher was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what the crap is this? <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Lizzie Burkholter says, I'm sending this again, sorry, <laughs> but I just wanted to thank you so much for your videos. They have helped me so much the last few months, and yesterday I got my autism diagnosis. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations on getting your diagnosis, and I'm super happy that we've been able to help you here. That makes me happy. Sorry. It's, uh, sorry if I get, like, weird. These things. So... My voice and my actions kind of get a little bit weird because I don't know how to respond. Um, I'm working on I'm working on the the thank yous and the 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 accepting when people say nice things, and also I'm trying to like learn how to better express when I'm happy for people. Um, and I always feel like I don't do that very well. So again. Apologies for that, if that comes across weird. I'm just letting you know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> um, ah. Well, if anybody wants to read Kaishana's uh, autism fiction stories, you can let her know. I hit the wrong one, but there you go. I keep on hitting the wrong one. <laughs> Why is this happening to me again? <laughs> Hello, Darren. Oh, and then Kaishana says, I think it's part harmonic writing. I struggle with that a lot. Yeah, I think it, that sounds right. That really does sound right. It does. Um, <laughs> powered by StreamYard. Yes. Where's... There we go. Powered by... I cannot do the... I can't do that. But, you know, it's right there. It's it's right there. It's great. Um, oh, goodness. Let's see. Um, 
just a quick hello from the Hello Tower, the Lookout Tower, I'm assuming. That stands for Hello, Dave. Nice to see you here. And I'm glad you're enjoying your time. Um, something is disappearing. I have a funny feeling that I'm going to actually have to, like, do things from here, unfortunately. Um, if you're, like, seeing things that I'm not seeing, I apologize. Um, greetings from Norway, says Anne Graham. Your research is simply great. Well, thank you. And welcome from Norway. How very cool. I have a friend in Norway, and so that's kind of cool. Um, um, it if I can click it. it. Says, so I went to a victory rally yesterday, and there were so many people and was able to function. Would that make me less autistic? I don't think that makes you like less autistic for being able to function um yeah I understand it's okay thank you Yak been here it's I I'm surprised it's even coming through here <laughs> like so like on this site and that's why I'm thinking I don't know if I should continue to do StreamYard just because it's it like doesn't catch things like the same like I don't have access to the same stuff um I wouldn't say like necessarily being able to be in big crowds necessarily makes you like less autistic I think sometimes I'm okay in big crowds and sometimes I'm absolutely not I think it just happens to be like what it is and also I think it's like if you are in a certain like thing so like sometimes if I'm in like more of a more maybe what would normally be more of a sensory seeking kind of time and we're like all at the same type of goal or whatever my almost like it's almost like you tune into that energy almost um and like it's great and then you're just like super wiped out later um and then sometimes it's like I can't even breathe around this um stuff like that so yeah I was trying to um address like multiple things at the same time it's working out so great um um, 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 um trying to catch stuff here do 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 <laughs> i i think that my favorite part is the bomb because uh streamyard is like blocking it so like i'm sorry for whatever you guys are seeing <laughs> serialism I don't know. I'm really lost on what our conversation is about at this point, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> I know I was going to do something, and I keep on forgetting what it was, but I can't, like, multitask, like, talking and, um, yeah, stuff like that. I thought the block me troll was bad. <laughs> but block me, though. I don't understand things. I don't understand people. It's just very, it's very, very uh darren o says i'd like to see you do more videos on your experiences being a christian on the spectrum church can be a tough environment for me because of the lights and sound and just social small talk yeah um it's something i do want to be able to um <laughs> understandable yuck been here um to be able to brain stop working ah! oh that is something i want to get to talk to talk more about. I think it's something I want to like eventually kind of collaborate with. Um, like eventually I would like to be put together enough to collaborate and speak with churches on um, maybe how they can help people feel more included, especially who are autistic um, and might have issues. Because like I go to church and we're very loud. <laughs> um, and I know that that would be pretty difficult for people. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I really, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's something that is important. And I know like not a lot of like churches maybe have the resources to do like all the things that maybe someone would want, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yay, brain farts. <laughs> could we collaborate someday? Possibly. Yeah. I'm not sure what about, but we could definitely talk about it. I've got a list of people I have to, uh, I, I'm supposed to be collaborating with those, so I don't know when we'll get to it, but um, if you want to start working on something, possibly in the future. 
Um, whoa, that's too much, too much music theory for my brain. Liz Jenkins, ah, hi, <laughs> hello. Sorry, the clock's changed. This, oh crap! I think ours are changing soon. Um, this weekend, and I'm still getting used to it. Hello, hello. I also did change the time on y'all. Oh, this is what I wanted to um to talk to you guys about. So, like, normally we do the last Thursday of the month. Well, normally we've been doing it like <laughs> a few weeks, but. Since the last Thursday of November is Thanksgiving, as I believe Yak been here and maybe someone else had pointed out last time. Um at least yeah, the US US Thanksgiving. Um I was thinking maybe we could just like switch weeks, so like um do it the, the third week or whatever, like the week before the last week of November instead, and then I'll just put out a video that I would have put out like that week instead on Thanksgiving. If that works for you guys, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think four o'clock is better for UK people and six o'clock may have been better for US people, but you know, it's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, <laughs> Flying Falcon, why can't we just stop messing with the clocks? I think it's just someone somewhere is very amused by all of our, um, um, what is the word? <laughs> There's words and I lost them already. Distress, confusion, irritation over the clock situation. I don't know. I get that it's supposed to like deal with the whole like fact that, you know, different times of the year, different amounts of light, blah, 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 blah. But like, it's still going to be dark earlier. I don't know. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Liz Jenkins says you could just spend Thanksgiving with us I could but usually what happens is I end up at my in-laws house and um for an indetermined indeterm undetermined indeterminate undetermined maybe amount of time um so yeah I couldn't like promise to be at a certain time and then they'd be like wow that's really rude for ditching us to just talk to random people on the internet, <laughs> which I mean, I personally would enjoy talking to you guys, but you know, it's okay. Um, I think we've had a few, um, a few propositions to change like the whole issue with uh, time changes. I think Indiana, well, no, they didn't because my that's no I don't know Indiana was going to or did or part of them did I don't know because my dad was talking about it oh yeah and people keep on trying to fight it and then for some reason we're just like nah we'll just keep doing this and complaining about it it's fine <clears throat> Liz Jenkins says sorry you're struggling with words and brain things today still good to be here with you Thank you. And yes, it's, it's, it's pretty apparent today, isn't it? Uh, collab with your mom. Sorted. There you go. <laughs> it is indeterminate. You said correctly. Yes. Something good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Imagine if life had a laugh track. DVD and film book. It would help me know when I was supposed to laugh or when things were funny. So that's good. Um, except for now that people pointed out laugh tracks, I actually get annoyed by them. I used to not care, but then people pointed them out and I realized, I think I'm laughing because I'm being prompted to laugh. Like, I didn't even think that was funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they're doing, it's working, it's working on me and I don't like being manipulated. So now I'm like, I will not laugh with your laugh track. I will not laugh just because other people are laughing. Yeah. Anyways, and like the sounds, like the um, the drama sounds, especially in like um, the stuff with like Gordon Ramsay or whatever. A lot of point people pointed out the, like the over dramatic sound effects. Never really paid attention to them until people started pointing them out, and now I can't unhear them. <laughs> it's so bad. Anyways, um. <laughs> Do, 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 I got lost. Also, I feel like there was something else I was supposed to tell you guys, but I forgot already. Hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> also, um, 
Yeah, I know. Okay, so this is funny. Uh, sorry, I always forget if it's supposed to be Kirsty or Kirsty. Uh, ever notice how a lot of pastors who harp on about healing stuff like autism wear glasses makes you kind of wonder if they even believe in it. You know, I think it's funny because um, I think the first person I heard made that make that point. I want to say that it was um, Shonda Pierce. And she was talking about like depression and how people were like, you know, it's not faith to take depression meds and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, well then why are you wearing glasses? Like if you have faith for everything to be like healed or whatever, like why are you wearing glasses or contacts? Um, and I think it's an interesting thing because in our minds we're like, oh, well, that's just, that's just that. And I think we like kind of sort different things in different ways. And we, we determine what you're supposed to like, I don't know feel about what and it's it's interesting um but I have known someone who actually was like you know what I want to have faith for that and they like didn't wear their glasses for like a week to try to like have faith um that their eyes would be crooked um and you know what like you do you but um you know they went back to wearing glasses and I don't blame them because I personally like to be able to see but you know th that'd be how it'd be um much commentary on laugh tracks. I enjoy this. The Wilhelm scream is a stock sound effect that has been used. I'll put you on screen. Sorry, used in at least four hundred films and TV series as of April twenty twenty. My goodness. <laughs> did I miss somebody? Oh, yes, I did. Hello. Christina, I'm not even going to attempt the last one. I'm so sorry. Um, hi from Czechia. Finally being able to be here for a live stream. Yay, welcome. I am like super... Ah! Sorry. Yes, that is true, Lizzie. Sorry. I, 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 thought, I thought that getting my um, mouse, like physical mouse, would, would, make, would make the... Um, clicking wrong things stop but it did not <laughs> it did not uh that's fantastic um okay so like i'm really bad about countries or whatever but like is okay please don't hate me <laughs> is is czechia different than the czech republic or is that the same thing or are they different things or am i just like really dumb or the <laughs> like someone... oh, okay it is okay it is the newer name for the czech republic okay because like when i was growing up <laughs> let me tell you when i was growing up my dad would always let me know that um we had on our on his side of the family a lot of um he said Czechoslo czechoslovakian and he would just can constantly say Czechoslovakia and Czech Czechoslovakian. And I know that they are now separate. Um, but I never knew that because like for the longest time, my dad was like always telling me and I was like super proud of myself because, you know, everybody else has like all these places they're from or whatever. And I'm just like, well, we have Czechoslovakian. <laughs> and my, I remember like explaining part of that to my teacher in like fourth grade. And she was just like, okay, Stephanie, like I made my teachers mad all the time. I, I don't really understand why. Um, but yeah, no, no, they're, they're like separate, right? It's like the Czech Republic or Czechia and Slovakia, right? I don't know. All I know is that my dad tells me about that all the time, or used to, and apparently I look like a great grandma or something that was from there um, quite significantly, which is interesting because I'm actually like a fourth Hungarian. So I don't know how that happened, but it did. Do we 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 DVD and film blog. The worst use of a laugh track is the is in Hanna Barbera cartoons because it's clear they're not animated in front of a live studio audience. I am I'm I don't I'm not familiar and maybe perhaps a good thing. <laughs> so I'm not irritated. Um <laughs> Christina says, so hi, say hi to your dad then. I will. And and also I'm sure he says hi. Um, my dad has been telling me such outdated information. 
<laughs> Czechoslovakia is a fun word to say, but it split on January 1st, 1993, a year before I was born and he was still being all like, I feel like he should know that stuff. Like he's very big on history. Maybe he was just like, I don't know. I don't know why he would still tell me that then. I'm so co super confused. Beru, 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 beru. Liz says, I had a friend from Yugoslavia, except it stopped being Yugoslavia when she was about two. I met her at age five. I could not comprehend how she was from a place that didn't exist. <laughs> That's amazing. <clears throat> Sorry for misspelling. Oh, certain are stamped that way are rare and expensive. Oh, fancy. Fancy. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Taishana says, what is an appropriate approach for autistic people when their parents refuse to accept their autism as part of them? It's a sticky situation. Um, I mean, obviously the whole like coming to them and telling them why and all those sorts of things. But honestly, when you're dealing with parents, like sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes they have, like, you know, their own concept of everything. And you're their child, right? So, like, they're, they've always come from the position of teaching you about stuff and, like, knowing more about the world than you because, like, they brought you into the world. Um, and so it's hard to convince parents sometimes when they don't want to be convinced. Um, and they might think, like, oh, that's just this or that's just that. Um, not saying, like, that's a great thing or a fair thing, but... I mean, if you've already tried to, like, talk to them and stuff, honestly, unfortunately, it's probably patience um, because not everybody comes into understanding on our on our time. So, like, sometimes we want people to understand stuff. We can give them all the information, all, all of our viewpoints, all the data, all the science, all the whatever else. And it doesn't matter because they're not in the place to take in that information and accept it in, like, their brain and their worldview and all that kind of stuff. Um, so unfortunately, sometimes we have to like wait for them to take it in their time, which really sucks, especially if you're a minor, um, when you're trying to handle, um, you know, maybe you wanting to get a diagnosis or something like that. <sighs> unfortunately, I don't think we live in a perfect world, but I'm sure that, um, perhaps some people in, in, in the chat might be able to give you, uh, some thoughts on that as well plus one um okay Shana. <laughs> might become a patron soon well if you do i will be happy to have you um oh that's confusing too uh <laughs> yeah i've been here for comparison czech republic became czechia on july 5th of 2016 so a lot of people aren't familiar with it yet oh interesting interesting Inter okay sorry um Darren O. Steph, what drives me nuts is when parents or family members act like we are three years old and that we are mentally challenged or something. Yeah, it's frustrating. Um, obviously, like, it's it's just rough. <laughs> I, I do think, like, some people's attitudes have definitely changed around me, especially uh, when they see me act in a way that isn't very um typical adult um and it, i don't know i guess like i think there's just this immediate perception of like if you don't act like x y or z that means that you you're mentally a child it's like well that's not really true but okay it's kind of not fun <laughs> hello hello sadian it's good to see you it's you it, it, it says that's me, but it's it's you. It, I anyway. <laughs> um. Oof. Oof. <laughs> uh, Christy says my mom ordered that book by Carrie Rivera for me a year ago, and it never reached me. So, um, probably because it was banned from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, you might have been, might have been, because that, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> Recently, okay, I was really low-key kind of hoping um, that I ended up on the Hall of Shame. I haven't ended up on the Hall of Shame yet, but I was thinking I might have been just because people... Um, ended up in, uh, recently there's been like a surge of people being like don't listen to this person 
big pharma pays people like her lots of money. And I'm like, dude, when's my check though? Cause like, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I, I would like the big pharma check for making that, for making that video. Like, I'm just saying it's been a while and people keep trying to tell me that I'm really stupid and that I'm just paid by Big Pharma and I'm just not seeing this check. And I'm kind of personally offended if all these other people are getting checks and I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to work for free when these people are getting paid. Um, no, but really, I have been like getting really weird comments. I think the, the best way to know that someone doesn't have a good uh, standing argument for something, a rational argument or whatnot is when they result to insults and that's literally like that almost the entire commentary that is negative on that video is like you're stupid and you have no idea how creative people can get in trying to call someone stupid um it's pretty interesting actually some people try really hard to be very clever with their insults but like when you're insulting how someone looks or their intelligence and you can't like give other information that's a telltale sign that you do not have actual like an actual basis for what you're saying um so it it doesn't look good for you you know what i mean do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Da, da, do. Um, Darren, oh, ever thought about writing a book? Uh, I've thought about writing a book. I have written for fun lots of very dumb um, fiction books because I realized that, you know, like when people say, show don't tell <laughs> i'm a very straightforward individual and i would like to just tell you like how people feel about things and how people you know like this character likes this other character so the end and i'm just it's like that's that's not good writing um but as for nonfiction, i haven't personally actually thought much about it but philip noah time to go home it's been fun Thank you for being here. Sorry that you have to leave, but it's it has been fun. It has been fun that you've been here. Um, thank you for being here. <laughs> Liz Jenkins says, Hey, if sorcery helps my depression, call me a wizard and send me to Hogwarts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kaishana says, that is so what I struggle with when writing books, right? Like, I've reread some of my stuff that I was, like, super proud of. And and the thing is, like, some people tell me things. They tell me nice things, you know? They're like, oh, wow, you're... Like, my dad, he'd be like, you have the writer's touch. And I'm like, ah! But, you know, that's my dad. You know, he's gonna say nice things. Um, and other people have said nice things. The thing is, when I go back and read it, I'm like, oof. Oof. <laughs> like, you know, the cringe. <laughs> the level of cringe. Like, there is nothing here that will let someone, like, I don't know. I can't like move on through a thing. Like, like if you want to be able to like do a whole thing, you're supposed to like outline everything. And I can never do that. Like when I want to creatively write, it's like in the moment, but that causes problems uh, that should be apparent because <laughs> like, I'm just like, you know, what would be great if this happened? No, it wouldn't. It doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah. So it's just, yeah, it's more for fun for me. I don't think I'd actually ever write something someone would want, like want. Um, <laughs> Yak Vinner says, I think Stephanie's straightforward stories would be a bestseller. Would it though? <laughs> I guess if I marketed it properly. <laughs> oh goodness. Um DVD and film book says screenplays are worse because it's just dialogue with some actions. Unless you direct it yourself, it can be misunderstood. <laughs> That's gotta be awkward. Um Lizzie Burkhalter says Speaking of Harry Potter, what house are you guys? I'm a Hufflepuff. Um, I need to do, there's um, a person, I, I'm, I've, I keep mentioning her, uh, Sarah. She's from Norway, actually. Um, she was under Wee Wish, and now she goes uh, as Autism Sarah on YouTube. Um, and she asks me a lot of times about that, and I still haven't taken like the test thing. And I've actually never read the books. And so she was appalled. And I said that we should probably like do one of those tests together for the fun of it. And um, yeah, I don't know why you needed all that information. But Merry Christmas. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess is that is I 
guess is what I'm trying to say. DVD and film blog. I think everyone cringes at their own work. I do all the time. Perhaps that's it. <laughs> Perhaps we're all just we're all just hypercritical. I don't know. Maybe. Oh yes, uh, Liz Jenkins. Oh, that's a point. At Stephanie Bethany, Stephanie or Stephanie. What's with the two spellings on your sign? Okay, so let me let me tell you a story. <laughs> Nobody needs to hear. I'll bring I'll bring it to bring it bring it to you. This is my this is my little card that I um this is um because I was um. Um, yes, cereal bowl here. I will show you so you guys can also see, um, autism Sarah is also on TikTok. Yes, she is. I think she's gaining traction a little better over there than she is on YouTube. Um, I don't know how active she is right now because she's in school, but okay. So story time. This is my little nameplate card for the time that I got to be a panelist at a place. Um, for YouTubers and stuff in our local area, and our local YouTube leader, Carissa Lee, made these for us. Very fancy. Okay, so but, but this is this is how my actual name is spelt. This right here is my channel name because someone um, wrote me a letter after several times misunderstanding my name. Um, well, they wrote it technically to, like, the place that I worked for. But it said, attention, Stephanie Bethany, written exactly like this. And I was like, you know what? I like your writing. That signature uh, thing that I have for my name on here is actually theirs, um, not mine. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? Merry Christmas. That's my new YouTube name because it used to be your Green Llama. And I feel like <laughs> Stephanie Bethany works a little better. So I actually now alternate between writing Stephanie with one N and two N's when emailing people because like from my channel name they think I have one N from my actual name I have two N's and it gets confusing for myself as well as them but yeah I used to get really upset when people spelled my name wrong but like it's really not that big of a deal now I spell it both ways because people don't know it's fine <laughs> yeah <clears throat> You're not going to dispose of Sarah's boyfriend. <laughs> um, just to say, my screenplay has nothing to do with autism. Okay. <laughs> just in case anybody was wondering. It was your a green llama. So like you you are a green llama. I don't know why. I got really into saying that. I'm going to turn it. My eyes are burning. Did it work? It, I mean my husband got me this like led lit mirror that's actually working great for a light back here um but it it, it really hurts to look at <laughs> um but yeah no i used to for whatever reason constantly annoy people by calling them uh, saying that they're a green llama i don't really know why i don't it i don't know but i needed to make a channel n channel so i could comment and that's what happened <laughs> I don't think it is. Uh, DVD and film blog. You're a green llama. It should. Well, yeah, yeah. It's your A with an A with an with an A. Um, you you should have kept the name. It's brilliant. Unironically, I feel I feel like maybe ironically. <laughs> uh, Liz Jenkins says the llama noise from Minecraft is one of my vocal echolalia stems. That's amazing. <laughs> Kirsty Perkins says people misspell my name all the time. It's commonly misspelled as Christy or Kirsty. Kirsty. So is it Kirst like Kirsty? That would be make make more sense because they misspell it that way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there now says I'm gonna have to check out Green Llama now. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's life's weird. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know how we come to that conclusion, but I feel like it's true enough. So. Uh, Yakbin here says there were llamas on the property of my sister's wedding earlier this month, but they weren't green. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> uh, I didn't think to ask them if they watched Stephanie on YouTube. I mean, I feel like I feel like um, your your sister might have been a little bit weirded out if you like on her wedding you just went up to some llamas and asked them that. So it's probably best that you didn't. But. <laughs> 
Oh. Kaishana says, is it wrong to think other autistic stims as weird and I pick up on them? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, like, at the same time, um, I don't know. Like, it... <laughs> I've caught some of my stims on camera that I don't pay attention to. And I'm like, well, that looks weird. Um, so like, I mean, it's, it's, it's weird as in it's, it's abnormal. Like that's why it stands out right to people. And that's why it's like a defining thing that people notice for autism. Uh, but like, I don't know. I pick up on stims sometimes too. I think it's interesting that for sure stims actually have changed over time for me. Um, so yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, but I don't think so. I mean, I'm leaving all the comments to make up for the missed live streams, but you should see people try to spell um, mini Shaniqua. Is that what, you're, what it is? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to spell it or apparently I can't even say it. So, you know, um, Do, 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 do. Darren O says, boss, one day I think it would be fun to ride a camel. Is this a line? I am confused. Ah, sorry. I sim. I also do what's called pacing, especially when I'm excited or nervous about something. Ye. <laughs> I, I think I weirded some people out with some like serious pacing uh, when I was on a forced camping trip. Thankfully, it was not like super camping. I got to stay like in a cabin thing, but. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry if I'm going to say your name wrong. Fateha? Fateha? Not sure. Kamal, I rock as, and you said it earlier, stimming too. Cool. Me too. Me too. Like, <laughs> I think that's why you said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm so great. Um, that's cool though. Yay. We can, we can be in the, the rock stimming club that I just made up. I don't know. <laughs> Kaishana says, what's it like when someone catches you stimming and it makes you feel different? Uh, I mean, I guess it makes me feel awkward, mostly. I think what's weird... Okay, guys, I have to ask you. Do you ever have people... Maybe not intentionally, because they don't realize that what you're doing is for your own regulation. Especially children. Um, do you ever have people mimic you? Because, like, when people mimic my rocking, I stop rocking. Because I feel like I'm out of rhythm, which is really weird. Um, and also I don't know why they're doing it. Cause like, I know that they're, they're copying me. Like they're not doing it just because they do it naturally. Like they're copying me. Um, and so then I like, I temporarily stop, but then I'm like, but I need to rock. <laughs> but like, if, if, if it's like, it feels awkward when I'm rocking at the same pace as someone else, because then I'm like, that's kind of weird. But if we're like, out, also like out of, um, sync, I guess it's, it's, it's uh, distressing, <laughs> not distressing, disturbing, unpleasant. There's a word for it. I just don't know what it is. I don't like it. Um, I have had people imitate me. I used to be really big on um, like when I would get like really excited, especially in youth class as the youth leader. <laughs> um, I would do like this thing where like um, I like pat my legs a lot and then like clap and like pat and clap and pat and clap and pat and clap. And pat and clap a lot like you know like children do when they're like playing like hand games or whatever um and we had brought in some people for like transitioning leadership and she didn't know much about me and i don't know i i don't i do not think it was malicious at all i think maybe she thought if she did it she, i two theories one theory is that she thought it was something we do and thought like I'll participate and do the same thing. Or two, she may have thought like, if she does it too, then I'm not so weird doing it alone. But it was just really weird to have someone and notice what I was doing and then imitate it. I mean, I'd rather people not just because I'm like, what are you doing? Um, like, I know why I'm doing it, but why are you doing it? Um, so <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think they were trying to be mean. It's just like, it feels awkward. It makes you feel very weird. I think when people like 
imitate what you're doing because it's like this is just naturally what I do and like you picking up on it and then like repeating it back to me is really weird I don't like it <laughs> but yeah nah. <laughs> yeah I've been here I, Steph I just want to say you rock like literally <laughs> oh my goodness Lizzie Burkhalter says, yeah, I bounce my legs a bunch. And sometimes this one friend I have, it, it does it just to annoy me, I think. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. She does rock, doesn't she? <laughs> the irony. Um, Jenny O says, copying people subconsciously is a part of empathy. So maybe that's it. Maybe they're just empathizing and it feels weird. That could be, that could be what it is. Amanda Cesar, Cesar says, I'm just going to stop. Sometimes I get it right and it's amazing. And sometimes I get it terribly wrong. My apologies. But hi, welcome. Really cool that you're watching from Portugal. Um, Liz Jenkins says that used to happen to me, but I guess it's why I suppress my stims in public. My lack of stimming got picked up on in my assessment. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, like, I do, like, um, lots of, um, like, tensing. I, I, I used to be really big on tensing my legs and pushing um, against things, which is a whole thing with proprioception, which is a video I want to make eventually, um, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Either way, so I actually was, like, really mean to a kid um, without, like, intending to because, like, people would mess with me and convince me that we were all just having fun. So, I like, I thought, like... I guess I didn't grow out of the, like, eh, you're doing this to annoy me, not actually being, like, all good and fun when you're not in elementary anymore or whatever. So to provide proprioceptive feedback, one of my main things would be to, like, press against the front desk, like, the desk in front of me. So we had, like, the desks with the chairs and everything, like, you know, in, in, in middle school or whatever. Um, and you can, you know, put your, your feet on the basket thing in front of you, um, of the other person's desk. And so I would always push against it because like that would provide what I wanted. I didn't know what I was doing, but like, I always did that. And I would always like press against and give like good pressure also toward my back because I was against the wall in the back. So like, it was perfect for me. However, because I was pushing so hard, I was pushing the desk in front of me forward and then into the person in front of that desk. So it was an empty desk and then someone there. And apparently they really were not okay with it. I didn't know that until towards the end of the year when they were like, seriously, like, I really want you to stop. And I'm like, oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't, didn't realize like they actually meant like they really were not okay with it. So I feel really bad um, for that. Sorry to the random person in my class that kept on getting pushed in your desk because I did not realize that my actions affected other people. Um, do, 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 do. Um, I wanted to say my grandfather was a preacher and I got my name from the book of Eli. Also, yes, people have picked on my stimming for a long time. I've had the same hat since I was eight and even at 22. Cool that you got your name from there. Sorry that people pick on your stimming. That's really dumb of them to do that. Um, Stephanie's a rocking chair. You're not wrong, but I end up moving them because I rock too much in them. And then, like, it moves the whole chair. And then usually it hits the wall. So. <laughs> Hello, Auntie Alice. Hearts to you. Um, 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 um. Kirstie says, I tend to stim more profusely when I'm upset. Yep. I fidget my hands, press my tongue to my mouth, and press my finger to the side of my mouth. Interesting. Um, Kaishana says, I wrote an entire list of my stims so that I can take it to my doctor for an assessment. That's a good idea. Uh, Darren O says, when I get nervous, I will chew on my finger. Okay, so I used to think I wasn't that big with, like, oral stims or whatever, but I noticed, like, when I get really distressed, that's actually why I got some chewies. Um, when I get really distressed, that's when I start biting things. <laughs> so, like, um, when I can't calm anything down or I'm, like, like, I, I, I noticed it when I would start biting my purse strap, um, because it, it provides a very 
gross taste um, when I would do that. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I'm, I'm biting my first shop. It's just something I do. I didn't really think about it. Um, and then I started chewing on my, what is that called? ID for school when I went to school trying to learn something on a day that was not okay mental health wise. A lot of stuff had happened and it was like, yikes. Um, so I started biting on that and chewing on that because none of my other stims were working. Um, but apparently they can get pretty awkward because I was having an awkward situation with Subway not too long ago because I messed something up on the app, which made me very upset because um, they have like this offer where you can have two subs and get like the third one free. So I just finished doing sub number two and I was about to do sub number three and apparently I hit the wrong button. And so it's telling me my order's confirmed. And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> uh, no, I did not confirm my order and um, it doesn't let you cancel it apparently. And so I was very upset. And then my husband's all like, okay, well, it's okay. Like, it's not a big deal. But like, maybe when you go there, you can talk to them about it. Shouldn't have done that. Because when I talked to them about that, they didn't have a manager there. So they couldn't really help me, even though the first person thought he could help me. And then the other guy's like, well, I can't really help you. But if you need that one or whatever, like, I can have you buy a six inch and I will let you use my six inch that I get for free as an employee for lunch. And I'm like, don't want to do that because I don't want you in trouble. And I also don't want to use your employee stuff like that's your food. Um, and so like, I was like, never mind, it's okay. And then apparently, I did not communicate like, never mind, it's okay. As in like, I don't want the third one anymore. Um, so they made me another one. So like, I ended up paying for the third one. The only reason I wanted the third one was because it was for free initially. So during that whole entire thing, I'm over here like biting my hand, biting my arm, like all the weird things in my car and my dog Nala's next to me. So thankfully it wasn't that bad because I was like squish, squishing her fur and stuff and everything. But yeah, there was lots of, lots of odd biting things. And by the end of that, um, they were, they were definitely talking to me in a different tone of voice, but they weren't like mean or patronizing or anything, but I think they realized like something's going on. <laughs> like, uh, but they were doing their best. They didn't have a manager and they like absolutely did their best to help me, but it was kind of awkward because then you realize like I'm a full grown adult and I'm biting my hand right now because I can't handle the fact that I don't understand what's happening right now. Super fun. Anyway. <sighs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. M. King says Subway fast food. Fast foods tend to have two star ratings in the UK because of being dirty and having rats. Ew. Is it, you know, it really it is hit or miss because um, of the whole like franchise thing. Um, I think Arts does a pretty good job, but like, yeah, some subways do kind of like, kind of sketch, and then other times, like, it's like the cleanest, nicest place in around. I don't know. I think I think it just depends on who's managing, honestly. Uh, yeah, Yakbin here says subway sandwich restaurants are cleaner than that here in the USA. Thankfully, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we would be okay with rats. <laughs> but then again, um, we have a um, Taco Bueno in on a, a particular one. So, like, we have two Taco Buenos, like, in our area that's not too far away from us. And the one that's closest to us, apparently, people got a hold of the um, health department inspection report. <laughs> and I found out things I never wanted to know about what had it. Had apparently been occurring there. So I'm just glad that I don't personally like Taco Bueno enough to really eat there, but you know. Flying Falcon, Steph, I have the perfect solution. You should spin an airplane. No. <laughs> oh. Cereal bowl. <laughs> Stefan question mark and e, are you, what are your favorite portrayals of autism in the media? I, I I really should stop clicking that question because I really don't know. I think like honestly, like my favorite my my, my but like there's not a lot that are particularly like saying like this 
is autism and like here's this person and they're autistic or whatever i think a lot of it's implied um and in, and right now for it, the the whole concept of recency being uh something you remember well i'm i'm still watching bones again and so like i really like i really like brennan as an autistic character but which i mean they never really say it outright but they did make a rain man reference at one point and stuff so i don't know but like specifically as like this person is autistic in media um i don't know i did like that um in everything's gonna be okay oh what's her name the older sister with the blonde hair I don't remember their names right now. Um, I did like being able to see like people who were actually autistic, actually displaying autistic traits and like stims and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. But yeah. Lizzie Burke Burke Halter. Random question, but is social anxiety like a part of being autistic? On my diagnosis, it said I had high-functioning autism as well as social anxiety. Um, I don't think that it's like automatically, but I would say that it's quite a common comorbid um, condition because, I mean, it's it's not hard for someone who doesn't do great in social situations to end up developing anxiety in those social situations and with autism part of the dsm-5 requires <laughs> issues with uh social interaction then it would follow that it wouldn't be a surprise to uh see social anxiety show up there um i also have social anxiety with my asd level one diagnosis so i it's one of those that's super super common i wouldn't say that it's like under autism but like i wouldn't say like i don't know people i think could also not be socially anxious, um, just maybe not the best socially and still be autistic. I don't know what movie we're talking about anymore. Oh, Rain Man. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't like it. I've never watched it, but I just know, like, I, I understand the connotation, I guess, like, um, what they're referencing it because stereotypical autism, I believe, is, is my best understanding. <sighs> I'm fading. So it has, it has, it has been an hour. Um, Amanda Caesar, Caesar, sorry. Uh, everything's gonna be okay is not available in PT, but atypical still is my favorite. Atypical is still pretty good. I personally like it. I know a lot of people don't, but there's supposed to be a new season coming out soon, isn't there? I think so. Um, and over here has got some cool language abilities over here using, I, I don't. I don't speak, I don't speak all of these, that's for sure, obviously, but very cool. Um, you're not missing much, even without the autism stuff, it's really boring. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, the good doctor, I really just remember, like, again, I still have trouble, I wanted, okay, I tried one day to get into it, the problem is I'm constantly comparing it to the, the drama, the K-drama, I want to say, maybe was it, I think it was a Korean drama. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, because I had seen that. I don't even think I finished it, but I gotten like because a lot of times what happens with K and J dramas is like it's really fascinating, and then you get to like there's like this point right here that it's like, okay, like, like we get it, can we get this over with? Like it's really like not that interesting, it's over dramatic. Like there's this like area here, and then it like finally gets on with the story and ends out over here. So like I made it through here and then then this part was yeah anyway yeah um i wanted to say thank you liz jenkin for becoming a youtube member appreciate that <laughs> what does this button do <laughs> what is this button sorry it does that also thank you um so yeah i don't know what i was saying but yeah 
<laughs> uh, you've never heard anyone sing yawn before? Uh, yeah, the neatness fades quickly. My husband can tell you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty annoying to him. Oh. Um, quickly. Hmm. Brain is working eventually. Yep. Nope, I lost it all. It's gone now. Don't know what we were talking about. So, <laughs> we were talking about something. It's gone. It's gone. It's really not that important, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I really don't remember. But, yeah, that's probably a sign I should probably start heading out. So, um... <laughs> Liz, I probably, yes, I probably actually do need to take a nap, honestly. Um, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, so yeah, is there anything else y'all want to chat about real quick before um, I head out? I've appreciated hanging out with you guys thus far. I'm sleepy. I don't know if you guys are sleepy. <laughs> okay, it's really bad, though. Like, I've developed a really bad habit of taking naps with Nala. We cuddle, give her squishes. And she, like, slowly tries to inch away from me because she does not enjoy my squishes as much as I enjoy giving them to her. But she's so fluffy and soft. So, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah. Naps rule, yes, indeed. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should probably do that. Um. Gamer Christina, I'm a school custodian. I pass by, do not speak to teachers all day long. They probably think I'm shy, but if they saw me outside of work, they would see me screaming my songs while running in public. <laughs> Why does this feel like something I can relate to? <laughs> Amanda says, is it an autism thing that I'm sleepy all the time? I don't know. I know that a lot of autistic people have sleep issues. Um, I wouldn't say that it's specifically... Yeah, so, like, that's interesting. You sleep over 12 hours in a day sometimes. So do I. I don't know. Um, like, thus far, my therapist peoples have tried to link that to mostly mental health issues. Um, but I don't know how accurate that is. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily, like, an autistic trait, though, because usually uh, a lot of autistic people actually have insomnia. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was going to do that. Hold on. Uh, Yak been here. Did you announce any further live streams or no? So I think if everyone's okay with this, um, I say that like, <laughs> like I'm going to be able to like say your count from everybody like who's okay with this and who's not. Um, I'm thinking just like the, the week before the last week. So like, yeah, the week before the last week, Thursday, um, of November. So that way people who are with their family, you know, on Thanksgiving in the U.S. can enjoy their family instead of ditching them to come see me. Because, <laughs> you know, they'll totally do that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's more likely that I wouldn't be able to anyway. So, um, I think that would be best. So, probably 4 p.m. again, I think, works for me. I hope that works for you guys. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a poll up and ask you guys if you want to do 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. November 19th. Oh, uh, Yakbin here says. Um, so probably November 19th then. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll poll everybody on whether we want to do 4, 4 or 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Liz says, so, so good to see you guys, even if briefly. Thanks for the giggles and thank you for streaming, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> sorry. The Stephanie thing is cracking me up now. This is going to be a running thing, is this not? Um, yay, glad to have you. Uh, Savalasix, uh, do you think people on the spectrum are drawn to one another and might wind up dating without knowledge, like being undiagnosed and suddenly relating to an autistic partner? I think it's possible because, like, I mean, we do tend to be around people that we think get us, right? Like, um, I made... One of probably the longest lasting relationships, friendship wise, that I've ever had um, happened because it was like, oh my gosh, this person speaks my language. This person like makes it okay for me to be me. Um, and so like that was probably one of my longest last lasting friendships and they turned out to be autistic as well. So I think it's just kind of like one of those things. It's like we kind of just get each other easier. Um, 
and then we become friends or otherwise you know sometimes you guys might get together in other ways but yeah okay yay giggles um Christina says you prefer the time it was today. Totally different time zone. Yeah, I've noticed that um, most people. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, yeah, 4 p.m. Then I was 6 p.m. I don't know. I'll just I'll I'll poll everybody. I do enjoy being able to talk with y'all who are in like way different time zones because uh, I know that usually it's like a weird weird hour for y'all. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah. So ah, <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi alex carson it's good to see you i feel bad because i'm about to leave <laughs> and you said hello and i was like ah. uh, um someone had asked me something uh gamer christina is it possible to have social anxiety but not be shy i don't care what other people think of me i just get shared scared to talk to others because I cannot find the correct words. I think it's possible. Um, I know that people have said, like, shyness and, um, well, I know that, like, people have said, like, shyness and introversion, for example, aren't the same thing, or people can be shy extroverts, so I imagine you can be socially anxious without necessarily being shy. I guess, what does shy mean? I guess that's what matters here. Like, if we can define what that actually means, then we can decide whether they are different things. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was someone else I was going to say something to really quick. Where'd you go? Uh... Hi, Laura Sagan. I didn't see you earlier, so I wanted to address you real quick. Um, have you ever thought about being on the ASD spectrum as a superpower? Sometimes and sometimes not. I think it is a perhaps a different human power. I don't know that it's necessarily like a superpower, but I don't think it's like the worst, awfulest thing in the world either. So, yeah. Um, yay. Okay. Everyone's like, okay, cool. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you guys have a good day um thank you all so much for joining me from literally all over the world that's like super freaking awesome and i will pull you guys about the time hopefully whatever your preferred time is ends up being the correct time for you and i will see you i believe it was november 19th the week before the last week or the Thursday before the last Thursday of November. And then we'll try to figure out what's going on in December. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> yeah, I've been here. Says you are all superheroes. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Bye.